Hello and welcome back everybody. J-Man here doing another music reaction video. Um, hope you're all doing well out there, staying safe, staying connected wherever you are and uh, whatever uh, conditions may be for you with uh, the latest surge of COVID. Uh, hopefully you are uh, able to stay safe and, and all of that good stuff. But uh, so this is a request from uh, John B. 62. Uh, Swiss Cheese Points request, and it is for Rhapsody of Fire, Emerald Sword. Um, so I'm being told that I did react to these guys one time, uh, one other time, uh, on a video where Christopher Lee was uh, singing with them. Um, and I, I definitely remember that. I don't remember exactly the vibe and everything, but I remember it was very cool um, seeing Christopher Lee uh, uh, singing on a song. Um, but, uh, yeah, excited to dig into it and see what we've got. So let's go ahead and jump on in Rhapsody of Fire, Emerald Sword. Let's get it. Where's this band from? Aiden the Barn, hello. Italy. Okay, quick pause here. Um, so, yeah, definitely getting um, very strong. I mean, uh, the everybody in uh, Twitch chat was telling me that this was like 80s, 90s era stuff. Um, definitely getting very strong sort of uh, that era vibes. Um, a, a lot of uh, kind of an iron, early Iron Maiden-y kind of feel. Um, the, the, the guy's scream sounds very similar to Bruce Dickinson. Um, that just something about that particular tone, that register that he's in up there with that little bit of vocal fry, um, definitely gives me Bruce Dickinson, um, kind of vibes, but, uh, yeah, sounded pretty good. Uh, we've got some really cool drum work going on. Uh, guy's definitely working out the skins back there. Um, but, uh, yeah, cool, cool voice. Um, pretty cool vibe so far. I, I would like to hear something a little more melod melodic, um, from it, but, uh, looks like we've got that sort of old, uh, uh, sort of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, that fantasy theme kind of a song going on here. But, uh, anyways, yeah, so far so good. Let's back it up a smidge and we'll keep on going. Yeah, I think we did at least one with the coil. They're all 
fantasy thing? Gotcha. say that it wasn't uh it was a little bit you, you those of you that have watched my reactions you know that i'm not a huge fan of the more fast metal licks um what i would call more like speed metal um this is verging on that for me it's a it's everything was very up up tempo very fast paced um the drums while the the drummer was definitely killing it um, everything was in kind of that faster paced, um, uh, tempo sort of a thing. Um, so, you know, it wasn't like my favorite. I really did enjoy the vocals. The, like I said, the, the vocalist it gives me really big time Bruce Dickinson vibes. Um, and we all know I'm, I'm a huge fan of Bruce. So, uh, definitely a plus there. Um, so yeah, Musicality wise, it was okay. Um, not my favorite or anything like that. I don't feel like it's something I would add to a playlist or anything. Um, but overall, good. I, I think I could hear something else from these guys. Um, maybe they've got some other stuff that's got a little bit more of a melodic um, feel to it. You know, um, when guys said power metal, I thought it was going to be really in my wheelhouse because. Power metal to me tends to have more of a rhythmic um, feel to it, um, but this was again leaning a little on the the speed metally side of it for me. Um, but yeah, overall good. Um, but uh, thanks for the request, John. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. YouTube, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. We'll be back next weekend for uh, some more music reactions. So I hope you join me for that. Um, until then, I hope you all stay safe. We'll see you soon. Peace.